This is one of the best-known photos of Mao Zedong from the earlier days. It's also the photo that introduced Chairman Mao to the Western public. Few people know, though, that the cap he wore in the photo belonged to an American. That American was Edgar Snow, journalist and author of Red Star Over China, one of the most important books ever written about the birth of communism in China. Snow was the first Western journalist to interview Mao. In his eyes, the Chinese leader was a man with a lively sense of humor and a love of rustic laughter, a boyish sort of laughter which never in the least shook his inner faith in his purpose. He had wanted to take a photo of Mao and found the perfect moment one morning when he saw Mao reading in warm sunlight wearing his blue-grey uniform. There was one problem, though. Mao's hair had not been combed, and he couldn't find his cap. So, Snow lent his cap to Mao, and this is the photo he took. There were many such anecdotes in Snow's book, which is full of detailed accounts of the places and people he saw in what he later described as the Red China. You probably won't associate any region in wartime with music and singing, but Snow recounted in his book that the people here sang nearly all day and their supply of songs was endless. Whenever the spirit moved him, or he thought of an appropriate song, one of them would suddenly burst forth and commanders and men joined in. Snow was moved by a feeling of positiveness about existence. Snow's experiences and what he told in his book Red Star Over China intrigued many readers in the West. Some even followed Snow's footsteps and travelled to this country in the East. Among those were US Army officer Evans Carlson and Joris Ivans, the Dutch director who would later be known by his documentary The 400 Million. <laughs> 